Hey guys, and welcome to the Angry GM. We are going to be doing a brand new Let's Play. I'm doing this in tandem with Dark Souls 1. This is Dark Souls 2, a game that I have not finished, and after a little while will be completely blind in, so you'll get some original reactions, which will be nice. So, let's get into it, shall we? I'm recording this right as we, uh, or right as I upload part five of my other Perhaps vis you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. That chick looks like Emperor Palpatine. Sorry, I had to say it. Mortality for reasons. I'm hoping this plays well. I don't want to have to fidget with the settings much more. I will if I've got to, just to smooth it out, but 
It seems to be okay. It's taken a little bit to load. <sighs> Yawn. Now, much like Dark Souls 1, I also have a brick and a mage there, so I am also going to play a two-handed wielder here, just so that I can get a sense for uh, what it would be like, uh, and the difference between the two. So, and as I said before, this, th about half of this is uh, not blind, but basically once I get to the Huntsman's Copes, or Cops, or however you will pronounce that, tree grove thing, um, that's where it's going to be blind from then on out, so. And I like the multiplayer in this a lot better, it's a lot smoother, so you're going to see access to other phantoms a lot faster and easier, so. Um, sorry if the sound is a little off, I will adjust it if it sounds off in the, uh, in the post-processing. When you're playing through here, don't forget to come down here. This things. Unlike Dark Souls 1, though, this time I'm going to make it deprived. I'm just going to go balls to the wall with it. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. No. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> Cause that's funny. What is your name? Uh -huh. All right. Let's do it again, Atelier. Fuck yes, I am. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Your mother. Think back. Deep into your past. I said your mother. Yes. It's an effigy of you. Oh, now you're making shit up. Alright, so, man. Alright, so, deprived. Um, now, I do know that, un unlike the first game, each of these does have some use. Um, but I'm gonna take the petrified something, because I can get something neat right out the door with it. 
Um, but it's basically randomized. I don't know what else the Petrified Something does. Um, I'm kind of afraid to take the Bonfire Ascetic, like I want to, but I'm terrified to. Because if I use it, it will increase the difficulty of enemies all the way up to New Game Plus. It will make my game, like, stupid hard. So, but only for, like, one area, so... Okay, we'll take that. We're a guy. Um... All of those look ridiculous. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna take that. I'm a fucking cut warrior. Let's do that. Homeland. No. Alright, let's go with this guy. <laughs> a lot of douchebag haircuts here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the least douchey. Hair color. Let's see, he was purple. Like light purple, so let's make him light purple. Eyebrows. I like those. Those will also be light purple. Eye color, yellow, green, whatever that is. Ooh, beards. I like that, I like that. But it's gotta be light purple. so that it gives me kind of a knot work across my face. Now doesn't that shit look like some war paint or something? Yeah, let's do that. I don't even know. Fuck it. Okay, deprived, life-affirming flesh, blah blah blah. Here we go. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> are the, uh, these are the last of the Fire Keepers. This has been many, many incarnations since the first game, and I believe this is what's left of the people who tend the flames. Speaking of flames, foosh! Yeah! So let's open this up. Uh, 
I must have been like the only person who ever played this game and went, my hands ought to have durability so I can break them on shit. Because I would love to break my hand hitting some fucker too hard, you know? Alright, so... This is Things Betwixt. We're gonna run through it real quick. Get to Majula, which is the starting town. Oh, I killed a tutorial. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is gonna be my dual-wieldy guy. Oh, cool! I didn't know I could do that. I just put my hand through that dude's back. I don't, I don't know. That's cool, I can haymaker people. I didn't know that. Alright. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna wear my kind of cool-looking, creepy wraith gear here. Because that'll be cool. Now, as I said before, I have played some of some of this game, but I have by no means beaten it. I'm only like, oh jeez, I'm only like a couple dungeons in. So once I get to the Huntsman's Copse, like I finished the Lost Bastille, so I'm like, you know, one of the major souls in, and that's about it. So you know, I still got a lot of ground to cover. This is where I can turn in that, uh... Now, I mentioned the nest in the in the first less place. It's the same thing as this one, where you leave shit behind. This is why I took the, the petrified something. Because they'll give me something nice for it. Shut up. An old whip. You know, I've never actually played around with whips. Yes, you! Give us Wow, it's... Kind of... Well, I mean, the damage is huge, but... Fuck, it requires way too much to be worth it. Oh, well. Oop, wait a minute. There's a something over here. Alright. And mind you, the only reason that I have two characters is that I'm addicted to ulting, so... Let's do this shiz. Oh. Jumping is also much easier in this game. I don't care what anybody says. Especially, especially with a keyboard. kind of a dick when I play this game though, so I am I am fond of invading at really uncomfortable times. 
Like, I'll invade during mini-boss fights and whatnot and just use the environment to fuck people over. It's... It's funny to me. I don't... I don't care if you hate it. It's something I love to do. And you gotta do what you love. Ow. Do I have anything? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Can use a healing item here. And then... Banzai! Oh, I missed! Ow. But at least I didn't die. And I suppose that's the important part, right? Now, something to note over uh, this game over Dark Souls 1 is that enemies have a finite amount of times that they will respawn after you uh, sleep at a bonfire. So eventually, there just won't be enemies anymore, which is both good and bad. Alright, for those of you who happen to know about the ogres in this level, I am not about to go and fight them with a fucking knife, so... I'm gonna wait until I got something decent. So, here we go. Alright. The Hall of Messages. So many praise the suns and whatnot. Now, there was a lot of statement on how um, raiding messages in the first game gave you an ambiguous bonus. No, it didn't. No, it fucking didn't. It gave you a humanity. Every time somebody raided up your message, it gave you a humanity, period. And in this one, every time someone rates up a message, it heals you, which is way more useful, to, to be perfectly honest. But um, both of which were actually kind of cool. And I don't, I don't care if you think it was, you know, ambiguous. It wasn't. It was, it was clear what it did. Okay, there's a little drop point here. And then another one over here. So, I can get some Cleric on if I want. And some binoculars, so... You know, there you go. You know, that's where that is for those of you looking for stuff. I'm gonna go get my... My Estus Flask. was he who peered at the essence of the soul king vendrin bearer of the curse seek misery for misery will lead you to greater stronger souls you will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid seek those whose names are unutterable the four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Bearer of the curse. 
Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Alright, so... We have, like, absolutely no character inclination at all, so we're gonna start building strength, like, right out the door. And as I said before, I don't give a fuck if I'm doing it the best way, I'm doing it my way. That's the whole point. You know? So... I'm gonna, you know, find what treasures I do, and if that helps you, then, you know, I, I'm really glad for that, but I don't want to hear any, you know, oh, you need to use the better shield, I don't care, I don't. I love you guys, and you put me where I am, but I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for that kind of an experience here, so I'm just looking to play the game and enjoy it. Okay... Alright, and I'm gonna go up here and get these these bones. I found a good chunk of the stuff in here. I don't think there's much that I haven't found in Majula. So I'm going to get all of them right now. Um, this is a difficulty shifting covenant. I'm not going to use it. I'm already a deprived, so fuck that shit. I don't want to crank up the difficulty by one playthrough, so... Not until I have a much better understanding of how things work. Although you may see me do that at some point. So, I come over here. Don't miss that when you're playing it. Because then you can take that Estus Flask shard over to the Emerald Herald. Excuse me. And, uh... She'll improve your Estus flask. Bearer of the curse. Seek soul. Yeah, yeah, Seek yeah. the less. All right. So now, we are more or less ready to take on the, the, the first dungeon, or the uh, Forest of Fallen Giants, and we'll do that uh, as soon as we get into the next video. So, um, I'm going to record that when I get home tonight. I'm uh, going to do a couple of videos of Dark Souls 2 instead of Dark Souls 1. I'll adjust the volume of the game too, so that way it's easier to hear me. Um, this has been the Angry GM. It like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Good night.